Hi, today we are going to see the topic slow changing dimensions. What are slow changing dimensions? Dimensions that change slowly over the time rather than changing on a regular schedule. It is time based. For example, the marital status and price rise. All of a sudden the marital status won't change. Okay. In data warehouse, there is a need to track the changes in dimension attribute in order to report the historical data. The usual changes to dimension tables are classified into three types. Type 0, no changes. That means we are not going to do any updation or change in the table. Type 1, overwriting the old value. That means we are going to update the existing record that present in the table. It will be overwriting the existing one. And type 2, we are creating the new columns and we are creating the new additional records so that the historical reporting will be easy. Type 3, we are just adding only a new column. We will see all these things in detail. Now, practical examples. There is one customer name, named Vijay and he is staying in the country United Kingdom. Here there is only two attributes that is customer name and country. Vijay has just informed us he has moved from United Kingdom to the US and we want to update our dimension record to reflect this. We will see the different SCD types will handle this change. First we are going to see type 0. Here we are not going to do any changes and our table remains the same. This means our existing reports will continue to reflect the same old figures. Because of the business requirement that each customer is always allocated to the country they signed up from, irrespective whether they change it from one country to other country. All future transactions associated to this customer will also be allocated to the United Kingdom country. That means we have not done any changes in the table. And type 1. This table is updated to reflect the new country. That means here we are overwriting the country United Kingdom with United States. That old country name is getting erased and here the new country United States will be is getting updated. All fact records associated with the customer Vijay will now be associated with the US country regardless of when they occurred. We often just see the current value of the dimension attribute. It could be that only the dimension changes that occur or corrections to mistakes. Maybe there is no requirement for the historical reporting. This type 1 will be followed when we are doing some corrections to the mistakes. That means uh, if you have uh, done some mistake means in order to uh, overwrite it, we are uh, using this type 1. Otherwise, there is no need of historical reporting. Okay. In that situation only, we will be using this type 1. Now, we are going to see the type 2. In order to support type 2 changes, we need to add four columns to our table. First one is surrogate key, second is current flag, third start date and last one is end date. What is surrogate key? The original ID will no longer be sufficient to identify the specific record we require. We therefore need to create a new ID that the fact records can join to specifically. That means, uh, in some situation, the same employee may resign from the company and rejoin the same company. At that time, 
at that time if you want to track that particular employee means we cannot track it with the help of the employee id because his employee id might have been changed if he joins as a new employee means the new employee id will be generated so we need an one extra unique key that is called surrogate key so that key will be used to identify the overall joined uh, that means resigned and rejoined okay in, th in that type of situation we need this surrogate key i have explained what is surrogate key and we will see now with one example normally this method is used uh, of tracking the change in the data warehouse this is the most common method the type 2 and this method is powerful because here we are maintaining the history for the entire record and can easily perform the change over time analysis we can easily keep track of the customer history but what is the main disadvantage is the storage requirement and potential performance in fact if it is the very large dimension that means the number of records will be more in the particular table but advantage is more than if we compare the with the disadvantages mostly the common method of tracking the change in the data warehouse is the type 2 one we will see the last one type 3 here we are adding a new column called previous country to track what the last value for our attribute was okay present country is united states and previous country is united kingdom this will provide only the single historical value for country if the customer changes his name we will not be able to track it without adding a new column likewise if vijay moved a country again we would either need to add further previous previous country columns or lose the fact that once he lived in the united kingdom that means going on we have to the disadvantage is we have to going on adding the columns like if he go if he again changes his country means then one more column previous previous country should be added okay these are all the types normally used in our data warehouses apart from that type 4 type 5 type 6 type 7 are available that is mainly uh, theoretically we are uh, we can see it but practically uh, we are not using it okay thanks bye